Hi guys and gals, it's Pete, Mind Wise Man's channel, aka Maverick Outdoors, and I'm just out for the day on a Sunday afternoon, and at the beginning of September 2012, and I've just come out just for the afternoon to uh, just have a bit of dirt time outdoors, a bit of canoeing. The weather's held off, it was raining a bit this morning, but it's uh, sort of cleared up a little bit. It's still cloudy in the sky, but it's staying dry, so it's great. So it's a good day out in the outdoors in the afternoon, and we're, I'm with my son, Adam, just been procuring some wood and we're going to set up uh, a little campfire just round here right on the edge of the river bank and um, make some food so catch in a little while okay so what we're going to do is make um, a log sided fire pit so it's going to be about sort of 18 inches square nothing too big we don't need it for sort of heat or light just mainly to cook some food really so we'll get back to you once the um, fire pit is laid out. Okay, there's a fire pit sorted, and I'm only going to go with my boy to get some um, tinder, stuff like this. So we're going to get a nice few balls of it. Just simple start with some um, cotton wool, strike that with a fire steel, and then put some of the old cleavers on it and dry grass. And then we'll get the fire going to cook some uh, outdoors in it food some dry goose grass and we get some tiny little bits of kindling dry little tiny bits well mate how's it going yeah got some that'd be all right yeah it's great cool. spo on Okay guys and gals, just simple start, a bit of uh, cotton wool fluffed up, put the old um, fire steel on it, a bit of kindling, then another ball of that on top to draw it through the kindling and now it's taken so hopefully next little scene will be um, more of the thicker two and three stage wood. Some of that going onto that. Smoking. Okay guys and girls got the chicken on the go. Obviously that's going to flame up a little bit because all the juices are going down so we'll douche that but my son just came up with a great idea about the side of the logs we use. He's just about to do it now. Just filled it up with a little bit of water so it just puts out the um, support logs around the side with a fire pit log shape really. So it doesn't strike up so the flames then won't burn our chicken. And then we've got another separate half just over there, which we're gonna put the jacket potatoes in, but look at this nice colorful spectrum of food. Courgette, onion, red pepper, radishes, some sweet corn. Jacket potatoes are gonna go in the tin foil. But then the other colorful veg, we're gonna cook in two separate mess tins and have that as a vegetable medley. So, watch this space. As always, yummy. Okay guys, gonna prep the veg. Got some onion. We're just gonna slice up. It smells really good raw, so what it's gonna smell like when it's cooking. Courgette. Gonna cut into diamonds. Cut into diamonds. Radishes, a few of those to do, 
red pepper. Slice that up and the next thing you'll see is it cooking in this mess tin. Okay, catch a little while. Take your potatoes in there. Soon be ready. <sighs> Bushcraft is paradise. Brunch, dinner, grub, scoff. Bring it on. Catch you in a while. Okay, people, the veggies nearly done. Jack of potatoes are done. Took them out of the foil. Obviously, we won't eat the skins, although they are edible. Quite sanitised, cooked. But it's nice and soft potato. We're going to scoop it out and then put them in with the um, mess tin vegetables and then drizzle them with butter. How's it taste? Alright? Oh, lovely. Chicken, <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up. Improvised seat. Gardening mat from the 99p shop on top of a log. Sitting unsorted. And then how to eat. Piste de resistance, as I always call it. Chicken might look a little bit burnt, but it's just on the outside, the sugars. But look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Spot on. Mm, the vegetables. Mm. Five star cuisine, people. <laughs> it's misty up the camera. <laughs> Bubbling over. Okay, we've cleared up a bit of the scorched earth. We'll tidy up that little bit, a little bit more in a moment. We're just about ready to make a brew. It's coming up to about 10 past six in the evening. So we've got about another two and a half hours daylight. So we're just gonna make a brew, tidy up, and then make our way back. But we've just got all the stuff here to wash down our brunchy meal. Okay guys and girls, that's the end of a nice eating outdoors day. It's um, coming up to about 20 past seven now. So we're gonna make our way back. It's a little bit dusky. So although Adam's in the canoe down there, I don't know if you can see him sort of a bit of silhouette. He's sort of in there somewhere. That's his head me pointing. We've got the canoe kitted up. I'm almost ready to try and take a shot once we're out on the waters where that swan is. Okay guys and girls, thanks for watching. Once again on this little Sunday afternoon joint out to uh, just go on the island, do a bit of riverbank cooking, which has been a nice day. But as you can see, it's been very overcast. But we've been really lucky with uh, the rain holding off. So hopefully over the next hour, it will still carry on like this and stay, um, stay non-raining. So we're ready to relay paddle, tandem paddle, and uh, ready to go off. What way should we go, Ed? Should we go to the left or right? <laughs> <What are you saying? laughs> Let's just float here until it gets dark. Yeah, whatever's the most scenic. Well, we're off down that way. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch up with another video soon. Cheers from me and Ed. <laughs>